Welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome back in and welcome in if you're in for the first time. This is just going to be a really brief reading of encouragement. We're going to see. I wanted to bring a Gaia Oracle. I really did. I want to see what's going on. What does our mama have to say? Come in, Pachamama. Talk to your people. What is the concern for the day? This is for August 21st, 2021. Thank you, Spirit, that you're so good. Calling in all the elements to help me read. Air, fire, water, earth, ethers, Holy Spirit, guidance, deliverance. My guides, your guides, higher guides. Come in. You're invited in to help me do this reading. I always do a little a little prayer. This is the Reiki Master Prayer. It covers everything. Infinite love surrounds you. Infinite love enfolds you. Infinite power courses through you. Infinite wisdom guides you. Where you go, God is. so be it. It's almost like saying amen, right? Okay, guys. So, let's see what happens. Gaia wants to speak. Zen Garden, Inner Sanctuary. All right, I get the point. Many of you are um, starting to understand what it means um, to be balanced and happy with your commitment, with your life, with your choices. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sacred mess, by the way. I've been making tons of goodies. This is, your, this is your true place of being. This is where you grow from the inside out. Number 38. Wow. Auspicious number, isn't it? Three is the number of contracts and building and communication, the trinity, uh, connections, commitments, and eight is the number of infinity, changes, transmutation. Um, so what's happening is on the inside, you're understanding that the work is done on the inside. So many of you have established within yourself a beautiful Zen place where uh, you're learning how to stay calm in a very hectic world. Let's see what the message is for you. Life is full of ups and downs, a constant ebb and flow between war and peace. Everything is a positive and negative charge. Harmony and disharmony, order and chaos, clarity and confusion, calm and conflict, they're all partners. In our physical world, you cannot have one without the other. Yet, like all of us, you sometimes wish that things could change. Why can't we live in peace? Well. The answer is that peace is possible, but you can only find it from within. The first step is to accept the world as it is. Just let things be. Trust that everything happens for a reason and that there is a higher purpose to all things. Now become aware of your breath. Let it guide you to a place of peace and light, a beautiful garden within the golden chamber of your heart. Again, a beautiful garden, beautiful verb, beautiful garden in the chambers of your heart, your heart, your beautiful hearts, right? So this is your inner sanctuary. Peace is only possible when there is peace in our hearts. When you're able to find peace, even in the midst of chaos, then you are a true master. <clears throat> the affirmation for this card I accept and love the world as it is. I trust that there is a higher order to everything. I find solace in the sanctuary of my heart. I move my awareness within. I am the peace that I seek.
wonderful message. That's apparently for some of you, right? What a beautiful message. Let's take a quick look at love for tomorrow, the 21st. I'm doing this on the 20th. I've been working in my kitchen making wonderful, wonderful sacred bath salts, protection kits, divine goddess prote uh, attraction, love and attraction and healing kits. Oh yeah, sacred bath and sacred products for you guys. Please check out my Etsy shop. It will be in the box below. Everything that I make is amazing. I'm going to show you one of my products before I go on. This is just one of them. This is for my Divine Feminines. I'm making a box just for you. This is Attract Love Naturally. What it is is herb oils, herbal oils and um, well, uh, H2O high with uh, rose quartz in it. It has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful smell. It's uh, designed by a Reiki master for you. It's blessed. It's got Reiki on it. And also we have these salts, Attract Love Bath Salts. We're doing spiritual baths. So this is uh, a beautiful blend. I would tell you what's in it. Just room, just know this. It, uh, it's just absolutely lovely. Um, it has Lang Lang, Dare to Love. It has um, a little bit of cinnamon, just a tiny bit. It actually kind of smells like light cotton candy, but it's absolutely divine. And it has pink salt in with Epsom salt too. And... All you need to do is fill your tub. Oh my gosh, this is really amazing. So these are products with a purpose to um, help you, right? So we've got to track love naturally. This is absolutely beautiful. It, this design was made to blend with your natural oils in your body and to pull out your natural smell. Kind of reminds me often of the lipsticks that are designed and you put them on, they're like green, and you put them on your lips and your lips come out this natural color. It just enhances your color. That's exactly what this is designed for. So I hope that you can find these. They're both 11, 11 each. That's extremely beautiful. All right, lots of love, lots of Reiki, lots of good intentions, lots of healing, and only Divine Feminine's working on this. Isn't that the coolest? All right, that's available. That's only part of what I offer, but it is indeed there. All right, guys, here I come back to finish this reading for you. We're going to take a look at love, okay? Let's look at love. What is the message about love, romance angels, for tomorrow? What is the message about love tomorrow? Please show me spirit. Pop them out. Hmm. I don't want to pop out of this deck. I wonder why. Let me try my other one. The big one. There we go. There we go. Reconciliation. I dare say, though, if there's some reconciliation with someone, you must build that Zen garden within so that you're balanced and you, you know, make the effort. Good love, a great love is worth taking the time to do. So <clears throat> build that space within you guys. Don't let things throw you off. Don't let just um, someone you know who did you wrong come back and destroy the garden that you have created. Do not allow that to happen because you are the temple of God. You are only able to maintain that Zen garden by knowing that fact and appreciating your body and respecting it. And what makes you different from a distorted feminine or distorted masculine is that you make the effort to keep your temple clean and you don't just sleep with everyone. You don't have to play games to be yourself. You're very, very, very powerful beings because of that very thing. All right. So let's take a look at, um, let's see what might be, uh, what, what else is going on with this reading. Make it clear to me about this reconciliation, please. Thank you, Spirit. We love you so much. Here we go. We have re renewing the relationship and creating a beautiful experience. This is brand new. This is like, I'm starting new. This is like the Ace of Wands, even though it says 30. 
someone wants to come back. Are you ready for that? Are you calm inside? Are you able to not get mad and scream at this person or go through the same old things that caused the problem in the first place? Are you set solid and stable in yourself so that they cannot shake your foundation and cause you to feel weakened? Ah, abundance. You're very, many of you are discussing with the divine about all your woes. And many of you need to go to the throne of grace and get rid of these problems you've been carrying around forever. That is um, troubling, but you have abundance here. So there's abundance here after the troubles. Okay, they said after the troubles. Good. Thank you, Spirit, for that beautiful um, confirmation to me. That's nice. Now, give me an idea on this reconciliation. What is the, the one partner thinking and what is the other partner thinking? Let me move this over here. So give me partner A and partner B. Thank you. What are they going for? Partner A, please. Spirit, thank you. Partner B. Partner A. What is partner A? One more. I need to make sure they're really good. Woo. Wow. Well, I'm taking this one. So apparently partner A is the divine feminine. There you go. Feminine. The yin. The beautiful one that should not have to beg to be treated well. That should not even ask. Oh my God. You know, why should I negotiate with you, my higher power? My, 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 why should I? You better make it worth my while. Whatever happened, um, there is... A, there's an energy of enmity. Um, that's division. Division, right? And the feminine is pulled back. She's over here. She's like, well, some, she's down here too, here and here. Um, I need you to know that your, your other person is between worlds right now. There's your three and the destiny karma. They're between worlds right now. They probably got a lot going on. They need to make the effort. They need to come past out of the gray into the light and start making their, their needs known. What is the energy between you? Building blocks. Now, that could be blockages. Ah, Divine Masculine did it. 28. So, the Divine Masculine is building up something. Or he's there's something going on here. And there's a lot of it. Tell me. Ah, some of you, this person, they're not for you. And I think you know that, even though they want to reconcile. Six is a number of love, but if it says not for you, not for you. Hmm. What else, please? Yeah, you'll probably get a message pretty soon, some of you, and... They will be contacting you about this reconciliation. Whether you take it or not depends on how healthy the relationship is. Is there a strong dynamic of friendship in it? Is there a possibility of, of um, going through the same old thing again? Or have you learned already how to maintain your inner sanctuary so none of that stuff bothers you, right? Let's take a look at outcome energy for this reading, please. So a lot of you will be contacted. You're very close to achieving your goal. Some of you have been working on your building blocks. Maybe both of you, you and this other person, has been working on abundance and getting and getting comfortable with yourself inside. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. And um, yeah, I like it. So they're going to make the effort to try to contact you. They feel like they're in another world without you. Um, the, the spirit, though, says maybe not now, right now. They have to make the effort, but you see, you can't just make the effort once, okay? Masculine. You can't just give up. You can't make the effort once. You can't expect her to trust you after something. You need to do the work, and that's how it goes. He, or her, or him, or whoever you're loving, right? Doesn't matter, because <clears throat> doesn't matter. Here we go. What else? It's time to release negativity. Woman in Scorpio. Well, you notice that it's on this person's side. And you're very close to achieving your goal. Tell me about this message, please. 
I'd like to know about this message, please. Meditate and contemplate on it. Um, meditate and contemplate on this new beginning that you're working on, whether it be with this one or not. Let me see. Nothing is yet set in stone. This person is still mourning their loss. They're not making, they need to make the effort. Um, if you've not heard from them, it's because they're not, they're in some kind of bondage, a time for healing. That's where this person is. And <clears throat> let me have a sended master message for you, for your significant other here, whether they be with you or not. Hmm. Tell us over our tell us over on my subscribers, please, spirit. Retreating into nature, green men, eating healthy, going out on vacations, um, spending time in nature to look at the, the flowers, right? The lilies. Um, spending time in your Zen garden. All right. That's what they said. Spending time in the Zen garden. Your part your significant other over here. Between worlds, not for you. I'm going to ask why they say it's not for you, too. They need to get their priorities right. They're prioritizing as it is. And they're being dealt with by the divine for, for something that went on between you two. All right? All right. So bear with me while I grab my cards. I'll use these. This is a new deck I haven't used yet. So, Spirit, tell me about this. Um, not for you. For this person. This is the erotic fantasy tarot. I've never used them yet. They're not as visual as uh, the <clears throat> sexual tarot. King of coins. Wow. Not for you. So um, this is king of coins. That is um, husband material. That is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, husband material. What is this person doing? They're getting strong on the inside. This is the, um, the, the strength card. What else are they doing, please? If you're under 18 and you see these cards, I'm sorry. They want to come forward really, really bad, really fast, and talk to you and start... This is a fool. This is a knight of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this is Leo energy. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person wants to come forward and they want a new start. I hope they're not foolish though, because zero point energy in Reiki is where anything is possible. But there's a spirit animal trying to guide this person so they don't fall off the cliff. What is the energy for my subscribers and members here, please? I hope you guys are doing well. I send you love, healing, wholeness, prosperity. May you have prosperity. May you have balance. May you understand things quickly. May you have the desire to seek the answers. May you be given the answers quickly. May you have abundance. See, here you are. You're the king of swords energy. Here you go. Sitting on the throne. Intelligent. Decisive, communicative, um, honest, honest with yourself. You can't build a, a Zen garden unless you are honest with yourself. You can't work from the inside out. You're working from the inside out. You have clear values now. You are logistical and you will discuss anything with anyone provided they don't come in like a fool and come racing in on you and give you some stress. Like what? I don't think so. Maybe that's what they mean by not for you. Tell me about the subscribers, please. Tell me about the subscribers. There you are, babies. Here you go, the Empress. Look at her, and she bourgeois. She's like almost risque, but not. She's not naked. She's just dressed appropriately for. A <laughs> I love this. So here you are, guys. This is you. You're owning yourself. You are creative. <clears throat> Creative, abundant. Um, you can birth new things into the world. You are uh, majestic. Oh my God. Most of you feminines are majestic beings. 
So three again is your three. You got three and they got, he got three. Three. And 28 is a divine masculine number, or sorry, masculine number. 38. Here you are, three. You're the one to negotiate with. You're the one that has the keys to the kingdom. You're the one that has the big open heart working on this Zen garden. You're the one. I want you to own that. Um, they're boinking. These rabbits are boinking down here. Can you see that? Oh, my gosh. So you're the one. Divine feminine. You birth new things into the world. Go, go, darlings. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. So, Tarot. Tell me about these building blocks. Building blocks. There you go. You're given physical manifestations from God to help you move forward and get abundant and get healing and hope. This is a star card, Aquarius. Right? So you keep working on yourself. You're showing up as this. The King of Court, the Yin, the Divine Feminine, okay? The Divine Feminine, the Empress, and the King of Swords. You better come to me 100% correct. Or don't bother. Don't waste my time. I'm in negotiations with the Divine. I'm in negotiations over my business, over my fr family, friends, children. I don't have time for F shit. I don't. I don't. I just want things to heal. God's going to heal you. You're healing. You're healing from the inside out, too. That's the best the best revenge, man. Whereas this person, they were put into time. Oh, this is a five of swords. See, this person is in mayhem in their head. They're trying to get strong. They have mayhem going on. Five of swords. Do you think they want to just come back and argue? That's why Solomon says, this person better get their priorities right before they come back to you. But they have to make the effort. All right, honeys. Well, that's what I have for this. Um, if you'd like to look at your own personal situation, um, you may check in with me uh, and order a reading specifically from me at robinsrealmreadings.net, my website. And my website is absolutely amazing. So please visit. See what's going on. You can order off the website. You can order off Etsy. You can... Order anything, readings, uh, spiritual gifts, sacred holy oil, whatever you want, uh, even sound healings and Reiki so uh, and prayer. So whatever it is you need, my loves, um, may you be blessed. I want a message for the Divine Feminine. He gives strength to the weary, and he increases the power of the weak. Prophet Isaiah, talking about the Lord. Everything is possible for one who believes. There's your message, Divines. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Be sure to hit the all bell so you will get what I upload. May you have a fine day and thank you. Blessings.